arm because you're good at what you do. So here's a little technique to help me out. So whenever you get a, a 60-10 butt weld and your gap is a little wider than 1-8, see that is wider than 1-8, okay? Whenever you start your repass, you want to definitely make sure you're whipping it. Whip it forward, come about back here, come about, start your arc, whip it all the way up, come back, all the way up, come back, all the way up, come back. So in essence, what's going on is, when you're down here, that puddle is red, right? So think about it like this. You want to run from the red until it cool down, then you come back. Run from the red, cool down, come back. And at the same time, be watching that red puddle, which is your mocha puddle. So when you run from it, keep it a close arc on your bevel. And what the 6010 is doing is, is actually spraying metal along the bevel as you run from that red puddle. And it's actually building up your gap, making your gap turn from a loose eighth to maybe a, a snug eighth, or even in some cases, a loose 332. So again, Guy, you coming off your tack, that puddle's red, run from it until it cool down, and then come back. Stack it. And just, it looks like this right here. Back, forth, back, forth. Because if you stay in here like this right here, that puddle is just gonna stay still and it's gonna drip on you. So you don't want that. So you wanna run from it, it cools down, come back. Run from it, cools down, come back. Run from it, cools down, come back. Try that and it's gonna work out for you just the way you want. So with this technique, of course, you're gonna have a lot of spatter. Some people say, oh, I don't like that much spatter, but think about it. Your pipe was not fit the way it's supposed to be fit. You're on one of the type of jobs where the fitter blames the welder, the welder get accused of everything. So the welder gotta figure out, how can I get this done? All they want is it done. So you gotta figure out a way, and this is the way it's gonna get you out of a hole. And uh, don't worry about the spatter. Just take your chicken hammer and take care of the spatter like this. That's what the outside looks like. Not bad. Knock that spatter off there. And get your brush and take care of it. And here's another jewel I want you guys to get. This gap right here is actually about, this is a 1 8 rod I'm holding, 6010. As you can see, this gap is about a 532, maybe 316. Now this is 6010 now, it's all the way around. You can see the gap, I'm holding a 1 8 rod between the gap and you can see how much space you got. So it's about a 316, 532. So the way you do this, you, here's my starting point here. What I do, I strike off down here and I just drag the rod right along the top and what's happening is that 6010 is spraying metal. It's spraying metal, spraying metal, spraying metal, spraying metal, and it's building up my landing. So the gap between the bevel is actually closing. If you can look down and see where I actually started spraying metal, you can see where the metal is actually building up. See that? And once upon a time, this was about a 532, but as I use the technique, I'm explaining it to you, now I can't even put my rod in between it as, as good as I was able to, see that? So I built up my bevel, and now I'm gonna do it again. Start here, and I'm gonna just drag it. Drag it at a nice travel speed, drag it at a consistent travel speed, and it's gonna build up my landing, closing my gap, and then I can do my whip technique. Just another tip for you guys. I'm looking out for the cookout. Let's go. All right, so that's what it looks like when you spray. When you spray the metal onto the pipe, close up your gap. 
as you can see the gap is closed now let's see if i can find a, a 1a rod real quick I'll let you see it one second okay here's my 1a rod it's no longer falling all the way through and i can get it even tighter if i just do it again that technique i showed you just hold it here go at a decent travel speed about like this right here Hold it in between the gap. Just hold it in between the gap. Hold it in between the gap. Boom. Fill it out. All right, so we got done. Here's the outside. Turned out pretty good, nice and flush. And of course, you know that the gap is wider than what it should have been, but it turned out good. The technique works. Definitely works. Inside, not bad at all. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Not bad at all, we got one more quarter to do. And uh, that's gonna be it. You like the information? Hit that cash app, baby, I got more for you. Come on, let's go. And that right there, my friends, is the final route pass. Turned out pretty good. And that's it. Hey, when you hit that cash app, Right below it, make sure you drop your contact or your name or something like that so I can shout you out on my next video. And I'll see you guys around. Let's go.